Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. Um, please ignore the hair, it's being unruly today and there is absolutely jack all I can do about that. Um, I've not learned how to deal with it when it's doing whatever the hell it wants at the moment. But yeah, welcome to this vlog. This is going to be a very standard reading vlog. I'm not 100% sure what I'll read in this vlog yet or as ever how long this one will span. Might be a week, might be a few weeks, we'll see. But the first thing I will be reading is at the end of the matinee. This I mentioned in my most recent vlog where I read Babel and went to Pride. I bought this then and I'm really intrigued by it so I want to read it sort of straight away and keep on the hype. I'm really enjoying the fact that I do have a full like TBR this month. This is not on it. I'm also currently filming another video with a book that is not on that TBR. So I'm hoping once I've read this that I will then read one of the books on that TBR is the plan. So it'll probably be this and one more book in this vlog. I don't have much planned for the next few weeks. Oh, actually, I'm doing a couple of fun things, hanging out with my friends this weekend. But otherwise, it should be just quite a chilled week, is the hope. Work's not too intense this week. Work will be hellishly intense from next week. So I'm enjoying my calm evenings and recuperating for a week. Um, but yeah, so this follows a famous guitar player who basically ends up with a long-term romance slash friendship with a journalist and it's very much can the two of them work out what that relationship is and they have this really strong connection but there's long periods where they don't talk at all it's exactly my sort of thing i've read the first 10 pages and really enjoyed it so i'm gonna crack on and read some of this this evening um and then i don't know what my next book will read i'm genuinely just gonna pick it in the moment when i'm up to it but this is the starting point i will let you know as i go so it's been about two seconds and i'm updating you again but i'm reading a bit of this and I, for anyone that's watched my videos before, you'll know I love books about music. I love music and the joy I am getting from the fact that this book lists the music this guy played in his concert um, in like the first few paragraphs, meaning I've just gone on Spotify and added all of those pieces of music to my queue, meaning I'm going to listen to the music mentioned in this book whilst reading this book, is making me infinitely happy. Books with playlists and stuff top tier but this this is even better because it's relevant to the story hello hello um it has been a minute since i updated you i am filming another vlog at the same time as this one which i think you'll have already seen if you have i'll link it up wherever it's linked um it's a fun vlog where a scavenger hunt picks my next read you'll have definitely seen it first and then i read that book so i'm reading that in tandem with my other reads for this vlog um so go check that out if you want to see what book i ended up picking and what i thought of it and I keep forgetting to update two vlogs. I'm bad at this. But what am I reading? What am I up to? Let me fill you in. So I believe when we last spoke, I said what I was reading was at the end of the matinee. Um, that is still true. I'm reading it quite slowly because I'm reading something else alongside it. It's about 112 pages into this, I think, at the moment. Um, I'm really, really loving it. Like I'm absolutely loving this. I'm that far through. But it is quite a slow read. It's quite intense, it's very lyrical, which I love, but I tend to find with books like that I can't read more than maybe 20, 30 pages at a time. Um, and I'm definitely finding that with this. This isn't one I can sit and read for hours on end. So I'm taking it, taking it slowly, interspersing some other books and having a good time with it. I am actually highlighting passages of this, so not loads, but just every so often highlighting kind of a quote which I'm really enjoying doing. It's a thing I've done a couple of times this year with certain books. So having a lot of fun, really loving this, loving the relationship and the way it's evolving. I'm very, very intrigued to see where this goes because where it's at kind of 120, I think, pages in, I feel like could pretty much wrap up the book. <laughs> We've got more than half left, so I'm a little bit scared, but we'll see. Other than that, I've been reading a little bit of manga. Um, so just before this vlog started, actually, I read Starcrossed, which is the first volume of a two volume manga. I need to get the second at some point, which was all right. I quite enjoyed it. It's a cute story about this like layabout guy that never goes to school and this like astronomy nerd. They end up bonding and teaching them about the stars and it turns into a romance. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Um, I think I like three starred it. It was good. It wasn't anything particularly special. And then I've read a couple of volumes of Black or White. I'll put all the covers up here because I don't have them to hand. Um, I've read, I'd read up to volume three before and I reread volume three and read volume four and I have volume five and six, which I'll probably try and read this week. Um, again, I'm enjoying it. I have some reservations about the series, about how certain characters are acting and how they're treated, but it's also relatively interesting and I'm enjoying the concept because it's two film stars. 
which is quite good fun and I quite like the what watching that all happen in like the Hollywood vibes so that's quite cool but anyway that's the whole update I'm enjoying art um at the end of the matinee I'm reading some manga and I'm on sprints with Christine India because when am I not um but yeah that's it I will chat to you I'd imagine in the next few days oh hi I've not updated in a couple of days but I have been reading and I have some thoughts so at the end of the matinee I was still reading this. I tried to read a big chunk last night, got to page 200, so I read like 75 pages and oh, I'm so frustrated. I was loving this. It's lyrically written, it's beautiful, it's a really like realistic picture of two people that are like care about each other and love each other but aren't sure if they can be together. Like it was so so well done. And we've hit some stupidity. I won't tell you too much but basically someone is playing sabotage in their relationship and it all suddenly got super dramatic and ridiculous miscommunication and the whole thing's imploded and again other than the sabotage which is just ridiculous the way the fallout has happened is still quite realistic and like well done I suppose it's just so unnecessary. It didn't need to happen. This was beautiful and impactful just by nature of how these two people interacted and what they meant to each other. And like, that was enough. That was enough. That's all we needed. And all of a sudden it's like drama and I don't know how it's going to end. I've got a hundred pages left. I'm going to try and finish the next day or two. I have no idea how it's going to end, but I am very frustrated like it just didn't need to happen why why do this who knows maybe the next 100 pages it'll like bring me all the way back around to like a four or five star but at the moment it's really frustrated me and i have no idea how i'm gonna read this but because i got frustrated by that last night and needed to put it down for a little bit um i picked up a manga i picked up anti-romance um by shoko hidaka apparently um this wasn't one i'd like heard of this is absolutely one i just spotted in forbidden planet at some point and thought looked really interesting so grabbed um i loved this this follows two guys who best friends at school and have lived together for six years since leaving school um and they're like towing that line of are they friends or more than friends and like are they gonna have the guts to take that step and decide to be more than friends um a lot if not most of the manga I read is queer which is really interesting because obviously it's in the setting of Japan which isn't necessarily as accepting of queer people as here and there's a lot of like that internalized homophobia as well which is really interesting to read about. I really liked this one I thought it was really really well done I enjoy this a lot more than some others I've read and I always enjoy manga because you can whip through them in about half an hour. There is a second volume coming out later this year so I'll pick that up when it comes out but yeah, it was a good good refresher palette cleanser after my frustration at my lyrical contemporary book. I'm undecided what I'm going to read next. Um, I am going to pick something off my f***ing TBR though. I have my whole TBR down here. If I angle you, this is my little like TBR and like want to read manga section. But I've done an awful job so far this month of picking things off my TBR. I keep picking entirely different books Um, and it's like 8th of July maybe, something like that. Maybe not even that quite. 6th of July in fact um and so I really need to get on to my TBR not that I care if I've actually read my TBR or not but I would like to try some of these books and I think this is what's calling to me um I'm going away for work today and I won't be back until Saturday because I'm also going to a concert tomorrow which is very exciting I've booked last minute tickets to a Bastille concert I'm so excited I fucking love Bastille I saw them live once at Reading in 2015 I think um, and was obsessed so very excited to see them live again and it's the Bad Blood X, Bad Blood 10, it's the 10th anniversary tour for that album so they're playing through the entire thing which is fantastic because it's a great album. Little bit sad because I like a lot of songs off other albums as well but we'll take it nonetheless but I'm very excited for this but I think Divine Rivals might be the right next one. I'm, I've am i already mentioned about to go on to a very 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 intensive hard project and so I think a YA fantasy romance might be the move something i can get through quite quickly and it's quite fun and quite interesting so that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm going to take with me to read if i finish at the end of the matinee but we'll see how we go
is doing it is saturday evening um afternoon evening something like that i have just got back to london um i was away for work the last few days and then yesterday after work went across to manchester to go to a bastille concert i think you'll have already seen some clips of some of that if not i'll put them in here um so we had michael algand algad algad um, opening who was really great I hadn't heard of before will be going to listen to his music then Orla Gartland opened who I love and she sang why am I like this and I died because we know I'm a heart stopper stan at heart um, and then Bastille and it was the Bad Blood X tour um, which for anyone that doesn't know Bad Blood is an album they released about 10 years ago well 10 years ago and this was like a 10th anniversary tour so they played that entire album start to finish and then did a few other songs it was great fun, it was a phenomenal performance. It's like an outside venue, which neither me nor my friend realized. We thought it was an indoor arena. So that was like a pleasant surprise, but definitely a surprise. Um, I am now wearing my Bastille merch. It says, this is your heart, can you feel it? Which is a lyric from one of their songs. And as ever, when I get tour merch, I will wear nothing else for a while. But it is now the weekend, I am now home. Um, I stayed at my friend's this morning and we watched the entirety of Heartstopper because they hadn't seen it and that was not okay. So I made them watch it. We got up at 8 a.m. <laughs> so we could watch it before my train. Um, and as I said, I'm now home. It's not the quickest journey from Manchester, but it could be worse. It's like three and a bit hours. And my plan for the rest of the day is basically to read um, Christy and India are doing like weekend slash 24 hour readathons i believe they might both have videos of them going up if, if they're already up i'll link them if they don't sorry i guess i'm teasing things that don't exist um i'm busy a lot of the weekend as evidenced by the fact i've only just got home but thought i would join them this evening um especially as i need to finish at the end of the matinee i am enjoying this still it's got a bit better since I last updated you, but I'm not loving it and I'm still finding it relatively challenging to read, but I've only got about 60 pages left. So hopefully I can knock that out in the next hour or so and then pick up something else. I'm undecided what else I'm gonna pick up. I think I said earlier in this vlog that Divine Rivals was next on my list and I definitely wanna start that this weekend, but I'm wondering if I need just like a rom-com quickly in between, which I could like knock out most of this evening kind of thing. Um, so I think it's about 5.30. It's exactly 5.30, in fact. Um, I literally could have looked at the massive clock behind me, but no. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go read that on sprints with them. And then I'm going to 
see how I get on. I'll let you know when I finish this and what I decide to pick up next. I'm also trying to bully India into picking up something specific in her video, so we'll see if I win. As you can see, we are all sprinting to get our reading done. Oh, there's an India! <laughs> I don't think she spotted us. Um, I very much started this evening thinking I might just about finish one book and they've somehow got me on the absolute reading hype of readathon, so we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, an hour and a little bit into reading this evening. I've had a video go up, good fun, it's up here if you want to go watch it. I have just finished at the end of the matinee, which turned itself the fuck around. The last hundred pages of this was, uh, well not the last hundred, the last like 50 was really really good. In fact, I've greatly enjoyed it. I think I'm overall gonna give this a four. I, it's a beautiful, beautiful lyrical book. The storyline and the like romance slash relationship slash friendship is gorgeous and interesting and mature and just like, unlike a lot of things I've read actually, I, I really, really enjoyed it and would highly recommend. It also has quite a big focus on classical music, which is very much my thing. You don't need to know anything about music, but you get some of that insight into like what it feels like to be passionate about something and be a musician, which I always love and yeah general good vibes loved it had a grand time reading it and it is now at half past seven and i'm going to start divine rivals by rebecca ross i did have a moment of doubt so should i just read a quick rom-com or something but christine and india have talked some sense into me i wanted to read something that i could read the vast majority of tonight and considering it's half past seven i didn't think this was going to be the one but it's ya and india reminded me that ashley from a frolic through fiction literally read this in an evening so i've got 47 minutes of this current sprint left and i'm gonna give this one a go all i know about this is it's a fantasy with a slightly historical setting and it follows two rival writers at some kind of journalism company maybe and they have typewriters and there's something magical and they write less to each other and it turns into rivals to tell a story that's my entire knowledge something about a war i'm i'm gonna start reading and see how we go it is currently 20 past seven We'll see how far I get tonight and how late I end up staying up if I like this. Hello, it is currently quarter past 10 and I'm up to page 154 of Divine Rivals, which is pretty, pretty good going. I've got like 200 pages left. So increasingly thinking I will not be finishing it tonight. Uh, though that is not surprising. It's quite a chunky book, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm struggling a little bit bit to see what the plot's going to be but honestly I don't mind. I'm vibing with the letter writing romance and just general good vibes. We're still sprinting. I think Christy's gonna be up really late reading. I don't know when India's gonna manage until but we're all vibing along. We've probably got another couple hours in us and then we might call it a day. How long is left in the sprint? We've still got 20 minutes of the sprint left, so I'm hoping to get to like page 180-ish, because I'm definitely reading this pretty quick. But yeah, having a good time, enjoying greatly. We'll continue to update. Hello, ignore the wet hair, I'm just out the shower, and it never knows what it's doing until it's dry. Um, not that it knows what it's doing then from the number of times I've had to tell you to ignore my hair. It is Sunday, woohoo. Um, I... Ended up going to sleep, I think, pretty soon after the last vlog clip yesterday. I got just past page 200, it was about half 11, and I was like, nah, I'm tired, I'm not reading, I'm scrolling, I'm gonna go to bed, because I knew I was out and about today. So it's currently quite early, it's like 9am, which for a Sunday is very early, and I'm going out in about half an hour to go to Social Pottery, um, which is in not North London, but more north than me. I think it's relatively north, I don't know. It's a pottery painting place, which I'm very excited about. When I was a kid, I used to go to this pottery placing, painting place called Cafe Ceramica so much. I had three birthday parties there. It was my favorite thing in the world that I've not done it probably since I was about 12 or 13, maybe. Um, and my friend Emma, for my birthday, got me like a voucher to go with her to go pottery painting. And so we were gonna do something adventurous today, but we're both tired and the weather's kind of grim. So we're gonna go do pottery painting which is supposed to be like super chill and wholesome, except both of us are perfectionists. So we've been stressing and researching what design we're gonna do. And it might be a tad bit stressful, but I think it's gonna be really fun. So we're gonna go do that. I will take you with me. And that's pretty much the plan for the day. We'll grab some food after, and then I need to get my life together because I have to go to work tomorrow. 
and I've mentioned a few times that work's about to get intense, tomorrow's where that begins, so I need to like mentally prepare and just get my life in order before that, because then the next six weeks I'm not going to have a second to sort my life out. Good luck to me! Um, so yeah, Story and Divine Rivals, we'll continue reading that over the next week probably, I doubt I'll be reading much till next weekend, but it's quite a quick read so hopefully I can get through it. I think that's the plan. I'll check in with you later this evening if I have anything interesting to say. <laughs> much later on Sunday. I am back from pottery painting. I will hopefully have included some clips of that. Um, I was planning to do loads of like cute b-roll and then I just set my camera up and entirely forgot until it was dead because I got very invested in my pottery painting. Here is a photo of the one I'm incredibly proud of. I decided to be way too ambitious um, but it came out cute. I have no idea how it's gonna look after it fired. I don't get to pick it up for like three weeks so we'll find out. But I'm back now. I think I'm going to make myself some food on sprints with Christy Ninja again because they're still doing their 24 hours and four, I think they're doing 24 and 48 so trying to read for a total of 24 hours across two days um, and they're both smashing it um, they've been on sprints all day I'm just joining now I'm back and I think I'm gonna make some food and then try and read I really would like to finish Divine Rivals today if I can I got halfway through yesterday so I'm gonna see if I can finish it then maybe read a volume of manga I also have a lot of life admin to do today so we'll see but that's the hope um, that's it for the quick update. Just thought I'd fill you in and then we'll see how I get on with reading. And then after that I have to pick what my next book for next week is, which I have no idea how I'm going to do, but we'll figure that out later. It is 9pm and I just finished Divine Rivals. Woo! Um, I really need to be heading to bed very, very, very soon. I need to sort my life out because I'm getting on a train at <laughs> stupid o'clock tomorrow. Um, so this sprint ends in like five minutes and then I'm going to go sort my life out. This might be the end of the vlog. I might go like, th I'm not going to throw it together, it's 9pm. You're not going to see this for a while. <laughs> no, that's not happening, scratch that. Um, but I just finished Divine Rivals. So first 200 pages I enjoyed, I liked. I was struggling to get really into it. Second half enjoyed more, for sure. Um, but still was really struggling to see like where the plot was going. Like what, what, what was the plot? Where was it taking me? And I knew it was the first in a series. I don't know if it's a duology or more. I know the second book is coming out next spring. But I was like, I don't really see the plot here. Like there are fantasy elements and there is a fantasy plot, but we're not really focusing on that. We're focusing on our two main characters and we're focusing on the romance. And I love our two main characters and I love the romance. So I'm not, in any way unhappy about that but there was no meaningful plot to carry us into the next book and I said this to Christine and do 50 pages in the end like they're gonna create a plot to take us to the next book now and they've done exactly that which I don't mind because it's actually done better than I expected but there's just a bit of me that's like the whole point was these two characters and like what it feels like to be in the middle of a war not what the war's about and the fantasy side of it and I feel like we're now diverting from the point and also in the last few pages I by things that happened was brought to realize that all I really care about is this relationship and the two characters and I am concerned we're going to get significantly less of that in a future book so overall for me four star really enjoyed had a good time reading super quick read 
will read the sequel most likely but I feel like it's going to be an entirely different kind of book. This was a romance which happened to have some plot alongside it and some like individual interesting stories. It was in no way a fantasy book and I think the sequel is going to be a fantasy book with maybe some romance and individual characters so I'm nervous about that but I will reserve judgment until I've read it. I've no idea what I'm reading next. I need to decide, but I actually just need to get my life together first. So we're gonna go do that. Oh, hi. So that was actually the last clip for that vlog, but I entirely failed to close it out because life went absolutely nuts. I had wondered whether to roll that vlog over into the next week, but I decided to start a new one. So thought, even though it's the next week, I'd quickly come and round it out before I upload this. So it was a pretty successful reading week. To be honest, I read two books and four manga. That's not going to happen again anytime soon, I don't think. But you never know, we can hope. But it was really successful. I did fun things. I had a concert. I did pottery painting. I am still anxiously awaiting picking up the pottery painting. I want to see it so bad. But it was a good week. And I just thought I'd do one final clip to say that is the end of the vlog. So if you've made it all the way to the end of the vlog, then go and leave a guitar down in the comments because at the end of the matinee, it's about a guitar player and do all that usual jazz like subscribe you know the drill but that is it for this video so bye i'll see you in the next one